Onkhapotse Tiro, a South African struggle icon, born on the 9th of November 1947 at Dunokana village in the Northwest. Tiro is remembered for his unfaltering struggle for South Africa's liberation. Key among them is his public opposition to the Bantu Education Act of 1953. He was also a proponent of the restoration of land to the dispossessed. In 1974, aged 27, Tiro was killed by a parcel bomb while in exile in Botswana. To date, 45 years later, his killers have still not been brought to book. However, Tiro's family is pleased that his struggle credentials are being recognized. It means so, so much to me. This recognition to my brother, it's a very happy to me. Tiro's gravesite has now been developed into a heritage site with more projects being planned to honor him. The, the aim of the department is to develop the Onkhapotse uh, Tiro heritage precinct you know, to turn it into a tourist uh, attraction. We wanted to start developing the gravesite first. Then the, the next step uh, will be doing the monument for Onkhapotse Tiro, as well as uh, developing the middle school uh, that has been uh, apparently donated to the community. The intention is to convert it and turn it into a into an interpretation center or a museum. The Onkhapotse Tiro Foundation has also welcomed what it calls the long-awaited acknowledgement of Tiro's struggle credentials as good news. The September month I think is an appropriate month for us to be here and also to celebrate the legacy left behind by one of us, Onkhapotse Abram Tiro. So uh, we convey our heartfelt thanks to the Department of Culture, Arts and Sports for the contribution that they've made so far. We have been left behind for a very long time. Steve Biko and other icons here in South Africa were celebrated and they, they are advanced for now. But now I don't think all is lost and then this is God's appointed time. In 1974, following his death, Tiro was buried in Botswana. His remains were exhumed in 1998 for reburial at his home village. His gravesite is now a heritage site open to the public. Salwane Khachau, SABC News, Dinugana Village, Northwest.